So hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, in in this video, we are going to discuss our uh, next problem on the array. So this is again the problem from the lead code, and its difficulty level is medium. Okay, now let's get started with the problem description. Uh, so the problem name is spiral matrix, and it says that given an m cross n matrix, return all elements of the matrix in spiral order. That means you will be given an uh, 2D matrix and you just have to return the spiral order traversal. So what does this spiral order traversal mean? It's like suppose you have the 2D matrix as shown here. So the output should be 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 8, 7, 4, 5. Okay, so this is how you should traverse it, right? Okay, so I hope that this is easy to understand. So if you want to give it a try, then you can and then come back to the solution. Okay, so now we will move on to the problem approach that how to solve this problem. Okay, so now let's get started with the problem approach. So the problem is, you know, uh, easy to understand, but the approach is quite uh, interesting, right? Uh, you have to observe a few things, right? The pattern that how you are traversing the matrix, you have to look into that. Okay, so the topic is uh, spiral matrix, right? Okay, so we are doing the spiral matrix. Okay, so the the input was like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I am taking a larger input so that I can uh, cover all the cases. Okay, now so the output you should uh, produce will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means what I am doing is that. So first I have traversed this part. Now I am going to traverse this one. So after this, this will become 15, 20. Now you have to traverse this part, right? So if you traverse this part, 19, 18, 17, 16, right? Now you have to traverse here up, okay? So the output that you will get from here is 11, 6. Now you again repeat the same procedure, then you will get 7, 8, 9. Then repeat the same process from here to here. You will get single here, uh, single element here. Now you will repeat from here to here. You will get two elements uh, uh, from this traversal. And then, uh, so the we have traversed it successfully, right? No more elements to be traversed. Okay, so this is our output for this input, right? So this is our output, right? Okay, so what we have seen that we are traversing the matrix in the spiral form in four parts. What are those four, uh, four parts are? This is the first part, this is the second part, this is the third part and this is the fourth part, okay? And these four parts are being repeated again and again. So once we have uh, completed the first round, again, we are starting with the same kind of approach. This is the first part, this is the second part, this is the third part and here no need of fourth part, right? Okay, so this is how we, we, we are going to traverse this matrix. We'll traverse it in chunks, right? Chunks of four that means we'll do it in four parts okay so let us see that how we can do this okay so yeah so we'll just uh, move here okay so once again we'll write our input so input is one two three four five six seven eight nine. okay so this is our input okay so what i'm going to do is that uh be careful here so first i'm going to declare four variables one will be top or four pointers right so one will be bottom then one will be left and this will be right so top is pointing to the first row bottom is pointing to the last row left is the first column and right is the last column okay so first as we have discussed that uh, we have to traverse it in chunks so first chunk is this so what i'm going to do that i can traverse this by you using the for loop from uh, nothing but from left to right okay so you will write your code here and you will get this element traversed so once you traverse this element then do note that you can remove the top from here and you can make it point here that means what i am doing is that once the for loop is completed i am doing top plus plus right okay this was the first part now now, now for the second part what we are going to do See, for the second, we are going to traverse this, right? So if we do know that to traverse this, we can again use another for loop, which will be uh, going from nothing but top to bottom, right? Okay, 
Now, once you have finished traversing this, then do note that we can remove this right and bring it here. Okay, so you can do right minus minus. Now the third chunk will be okay. So the third will be again. So the third we have to traverse this part. Okay. Now if you see that we can do this by for loop from right to left. Fine. Okay. So now once you completed this, so these elements have been traversed. Now what you can do is that you can remove this bottom from here and you can make bottom point here. Okay. Okay. So for doing that, you can do bottom minus minus. Okay. Now last in at last, what you have to do is that you have to again traverse the same. Uh, let me change the pen color here. Yeah. So now you have to traverse this chunk. That means six and eleven. So how you can do that? Again, we can use the for loop. And now the for loop will go from uh, bottom to top. Okay. You write here, and once it is done, you can remove this left from here. Right. So I can bring it uh, left as left plus plus. Okay. Now you have to repeat uh, this one, this whole process again and again, right? This whole process again and again. So what you can do is that you can put this into while loop. Okay. So you will put the while loop here. You, you will have some condition and inside the while loop, you can write your four, uh, four, uh, four loops. Okay. Okay. So now uh, what should be the condition? So if you do know, then the condition should be like, uh, like, uh, when it is stopping right so if you see here when when our top becomes less than bottom or or when our left becomes less than right more than right then in in that case we can uh, exit the while loop right because at that time uh, we would have uh, traversed all the elements okay so the uh, so the condition should be top is less or equals to bottom and left is less or equals to right then you keep on doing this okay so do note we also have to figure out that uh, when to uh, use this for loop when to use this when to use this right so what we can do is uh, we can take a uh, another variable called dir which is a direction nothing but a direction right now initialize it with zero so so if so if if dir is equals to equals to zero then you are going to use the first for loop here right else if your dir is equals to equals to one that means you are going to uh, use the second one second chunk of code right similarly uh, for uh, for yeah so for 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 dir2 right for dir2 uh, else if there to you do the, the third for loop if dir is equals to three uh, you do the fourth for loop right so this is how you are going to write the code okay so i i hope you have understood the basic uh, approach here so i hope you have understood this this approach right? okay so let's move on to the code here okay so if if you see the code here so here i have uh, uh, found out the size of the matrices this is the top this is the down uh, down then left and the right pointer these are the four pointers we have this is the direction that means with the help of dir uh, we will find that uh, which for loop uh, uh, will be executed right that means either we have to traverse one two three first or three six nine okay okay so for that here i am i am using the while loop condition is same now if dir is equals equals to zero that means we are uh, traversing the uh, this this first for loop right so here then we have to traverse the top row okay so this is what i am doing then i am making top plus plus then if dir is equals equals to 1 then i am uh, i am traversing the last column okay like okay and then i am updating the right minus minus similarly for dir uh, when it becomes 2 we are going from uh, the the last row okay from right to left okay again we are updating the down minus minus again uh, if dir equals equals to 3 then in that case we are going upwards like 7 4 okay so uh, again after that we are updating the left 
plus plus and then I am updating the value of DR as DR plus one percent is four. Why I am doing percent is four? Because the value of DR does not exceed four, right? That means uh, it should only revolve around zero, one, two, three, right? So this is how we uh, how to solve this problem. I hope that you you have understood the approach. Uh, if you have understood that, then please uh, uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe the channel. So that's it for for this video. Uh, thank you, and have a nice day.